everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a haul video. In fact, if you love hauls, make sure you are subscribed and that you click that bell icon so that you are notified because this is going to be the summer of hauls. I have five or six additional hauls after this one planned to share with you this summer. They're all going to be our back to school hauls. So if you like stuff, resources, books, games, etc., make sure you're subscribed and that you have your notifications turned on. Today's haul is the FPEA haul, and it is in collaboration with Abby from Rooted and Rest. So we actually were lucky enough to meet and hang out most of the weekend at the FPEA convention in Orlando, Florida, and we had a blast together, and we both saw each other pick up some really cool stuff. So we immediately were like, haul collaboration? And so that's what today's video is going to be. Now, before I show you all of the awesome stuff that we got at FPEA. I do want to tell you what my absolute favorite part of being at the FPEA convention was. And it might surprise you because it wasn't the talks and it wasn't even the exhibit hall. It was meeting so many of you. I absolutely loved meeting some of the homeschool moms who have um, watched us or followed along with us. And I absolutely loved hearing your stories of what um, following us or seeing us or using our products has meant to you and how it's changed your homeschool. It was literally the highlight of my entire weekend. So if you were one of the moms I met, thank you for walking up and talking to me. And if I didn't meet you, there's always next year. Okay. The first like big set of things I'm going to show you was from a booth called easy peasy science. And it was an amazing, like amazing booth. And I also want to remind you guys that Kevin is the primary science teacher and he may or may not have gone just a little crazy in this booth. So they had bundles of things set up. Like you could buy um, like a chemistry bundle or a biology bundle. So one of the bundles that we got was a microscope bundle and we got it mainly because we have noticed that with Kevin teaching Emily science, the microscope that we have is not working for the two of them because Kevin has bifocals, Emily has glasses, and for them to try to be looking at the same thing um, in the same like vision without you know, having to change it constantly was becoming kind of an issue. So we picked up the microscope bundle that included the digital microscope. So this one can attach to a computer or it has like a four inch screen on it. Um, I don't know, let's see how complicated this is. complicated you guys but I can show you how big the screen is at least so the goal with this bundle was for them to both be able to continue to wear their glasses and then just you know look at it on this screen so it would make using the microscope a little bit easier for both of them so that is one of the reasons that we picked it up and the bundle was just super affordable because you got that microscope along with a pocket microscope that comes with lab activities in the pocket microscope. And then it also came with four um, like science kits, if you will. So there was a five second rule project kit, a hand sanitizer versus bacteria project kit, a diffusion races project kit. And then the last one that it came with was a DNA extraction project kit. So those were all included in the microscope bundle from them. The other thing that we got because, well, you've probably heard Kevin tell you this before, science is his favorite subject because it has the best toys. And Emily was playing with this toy at the booth and somehow or another we walked away with a bundle. So it is the Ozbot. It was actually super cool, you guys. Watching her play with this at the booth sold me on it for sure. And it, the whole bundle included this 
the racer wearable skin. Three packs of the markers. And now you use these markers to um, code the different things, do the different colors and the different types of lines you make do different things. So those are the color code markers. And then it also came with two sets of the color code stickers. So same principle. You have the different color coded stickers that help code the robot. Um, a set of graph paper to use the color coding markers on and then a case for everything. So that's what came in the Ozbot bundle. So those were the two big kind of science purchases that we made from the Easy Peasy Science booth. Most of everything else that we picked up came from Miller's Pads and Papers. We normally do quite a bit of rainbow resource shopping, but they were not at the convention this year. Um, not to worry, because they'll have their in their own haul. We've already placed an order with them. But um, so most of what we got was from either Miller Pads and Papers or Nature Workshop. I will distinguish which is which. We're going to start with Miller's Pads and Paper. So the first thing that I fell in love with were these Melissa and Doug math gears. And yes, we bought addition, subtraction, multiplication and division because we needed all of them. Like you guys know, I'm obsessed with having complete sets of things. What I loved about these so much is that they are awesome for a hands-on learner. So this little tab moves to change this number. So you have, you know, one plus two, one plus three, one plus four, but then each time you change it, you flip this up and it gives you an answer. So you can use it for quizzing. And then when you're done with the ones you can flip you have twos on the back and then threes and it continues like that all the way up to 12 and they're all set up in the same way so like here's multiplication here's your ones you slide this it makes the one number change and then when you lift the question mark it has the answer and again it goes all the way up to the 12s and these are by Melissa and Doug. So I knew that they would be fantastic because everything Melissa and Doug makes is great. Emily asked for this game. It's called Possum. And it was less than $10. And it is a word play game. And anything that is going to have her practicing word building, word building and spelling. And it says vocabulary and parts of speech as well. I mean, how can I argue with that? So she got to pick that up. And then they actually had the only two Professor Noggin games that we didn't own. And that was the Geography of Canada and the History of Canada. You guys know we love these. These are probably one of our top most played game. But again, we are a trivia loving family in case you don't know that. So now we own all 30 something of them, I believe. Oh, this is really, really fun. So this was a board what do they call it? Blank game board kit. So this box includes everything you need to create your own board game. It has a spinner, little like Monopoly cards, blank cards, dice, um, pegs, and then this blank game board. So I thought it would just be kind of a fun thing to maybe strew, let Emily create one or two different kinds of board games. So there's the, it looks like fake monopoly money. And then these are just blank cards. So you can make, you know, whatever kind of cards you wanted, a spinner, the dice and little movers, and then a sand timer. So everything you could possibly want to create a different board, different kind of board game. I'm running out of room on the table, you guys. Okay. Next up is the book mother culture as soon as i saw this i knew that i had to have it i haven't read it and it is one of abby's top picks as soon as we saw it and i said 
Um, I hadn't read it. I knew she was going to beat me. So <laughs> I just bought it. I have no clue. I mean, I kind of have a clue what it's about because I know what mother culture is, but I don't know anything about this book other than it is one of Abby's top recommendations and I love everything that she recommends. So I am sure I'm going to love it. It is mother culture for a happy homeschool. Let's see. The next thing I have is a set of, I believe it's 12, you guys, but it's every one that they had of the I Survived books. So we've read a few of these. We really, really love them. And I thought they would make a really awesome addition to our survival summer because they are real life survival stories. You survived, you know, multiple things. So we have I Survived the Destruction of Pompeii. I survived the Japanese tsunami. I survived the Joplin tornado. The eruption of Mount St. Helen. The Great Chicago Fire. The San Francisco earthquake. The bombing of Pearl Harbor. The Children's Blizzard. This is actually the one we are currently reading because we are doing the Blizzard Challenge from the Survival Unit. So I thought this would go very nicely with that. Uh, the Attack of the Grizzlies. The Nazi Invasion. The Battle of Gettysburg. The American Revolution. The Great Molasses Flood. The Sinking of the Titanic. The Hindenburg Disaster. The September 11th Attacks. Hurricane Katrina. And the Shark Attacks of 1916. trying really hard not to let that pile fall over. Okay, we have, oh, sorry, that's from a different shop. Hang on, we're almost there. Okay, and then this is the last thing that we picked up for Miller Pads and Papers, and it is the Draw and Write Through History. We have used um, a set of books called Draw Right Now and love them, and this seemed like a very similar style because you have, you know, the steps for drawing different things and then it's um, cursive writing versus print. So it takes you through the steps for drawing different things and then it has um, the cursive copy work. And so we have Creation through Jonah, Greece and Rome, the Vikings, the Middle Ages, and the Renaissance. Pilgrims, Pirates, and Patriots. Napoleon to Lady Liberty. And Invention, Exploration, and the War, the 20th Century. So that is the complete set of them. And like I said, they just looked kind of like a next step up from Draw Right Now. Um, although Draw Right Now, I'm not going to say it's secular, but so far all the ones we've done have been um, void of any religion where these are religious. So that is just a little bit in case you're doing one, that way you know about it from the um, Draw and Write Through History. But other than that, they're very, very similar and a good step up. And then again, cursive versus print in the others. So it looks like it would be a good fit for us. And I fibbed, you guys. We have one more thing for Miller Pads and Papers. And it is dice that have glow in the dark dots. These were literally at the checkout counter. We almost got away without them. But there are five dice in the pack. And as soon as we realized that, we knew we had to have them because we could play Yahtzee with glow-in-the-dark dice. And, you know, that just sold Kevin on them. So, we got them. 
The other, like I said, the other workshop or place that I stopped was the nature workshop. And we just got a few things from there. One of which was a bird call. Kevin picked that up for Emily. Emily loves these explore books. And so when she saw the frogs, she wanted to have it. They're really cool. They have like human bodies and T-Rex and dogs. And we have all of them except somehow we missed the frog. But every page you open goes like one layer deeper into the animal. And then it has all the information about it. So they are a really awesome book series. And then I believe the last thing that we picked up from the nature workshop were these adventure skill guides. These also looked like really awesome additions to our survival summer. So I picked up the foraging in North America. They're like these little small spiral bound books. Um, they just had all this information in them. So this one is the top 12 plants to seek out. And then we have the outdoor survival guide learn how to survive when until help arrives the essential knots learn 21 knots for the outdoors and everyday life and then the last one is outdoor medicine manage backcountry injuries and emergencies so like i said these just look like a really fun addition and they are small enough that they would fit um, in a backpack so i really really like that Okay, the very, very last thing I have is the 1,000 Hours Outside Activity Book, which I am going to just go ahead and tell you guys, we picked this up from 1,000 Hours Outside. We were actually lucky enough to meet Jenny. She is amazing and super sweet and just a joy to know. And I love that these are low-tech nature activities for a high-tech world. Um, so it tells you up in the right hand corner the time that each activity is going to take. Then it tells you everything that you're going to need and gives you instructions. And I really, really love having things like this on hand um, just to kind of be like, oh, that sounds like a really fun idea. So that is everything that we picked up from the FPEA convention. At least I think it's everything. It's not. This is everything I bought from the FBEA convention, but we actually gave Emily a little bit of money to spend of her own. And I'm just gonna insert a picture right here for you guys of her with Miss Mary from school where she was protecting her. She actually found this booth. It was a homeschool family and they made um, swords and shields and knives and daggers out of foam and she had to have them. So that is what she spent her money on while we were at the convention. Um, and she was a knight the entire time, or a Viking knight. A Vike knight, that is what she called herself, a Vike knight. So that's what she was while we walked around the convention. We had a blast, and like I said, this is the first of many hauls to come. So if you love hauls, make sure you're subscribed and that you've hit that notification.